with plans of Black Lives Matter Street are approved in Birmingham, Mobile and Tuscaloosa. How likely is it that we'll see one here in Huntsville? Well, a local artist behind the planned mural says it has not been easy. And according to a recent radio interview, Mayor Battle does not plan on putting a process in effect to enable the arts installation. Our Sydney Stallworth tells us more. Major cities across the country have been donning their streets with one message, Black Lives Matter. And one local artist is trying to do the same thing here in Huntsville, but he says he's been receiving some pushback. The message it will send is a message of unity, uh, hope, togetherness, um, where you can come and live your life out and not worry because of your skin color. Renzi Wilson goes on to explain how each element of the mural was chosen and what the colors represent. He says a mural like this one is necessary. Initially, I proposed the design in early June to Mayor Tommy Battle in an email. So um, his office did contact me and they forwarded me or re referred me to the Huntsville Arts Council. He says after meeting with the director of the council, he was told the mural qualifies as artwork. Allison Dylan Jalkin, which is the director of the Huntsville City Arts Council, in a meeting, she told me that the art council had approved the commission, actually had approved my mural for painting because it's more issue based and not politically based. But Wilson says after meeting with the city planner Dennis Madsen, he was told state laws prohibit the painting of this mural on any street. If it was a state law that we couldn't do this mural, then why does Birmingham, Montgomery and Tuscaloosa have one? Mayor Battle addressed the question of whether he would allow a Black Lives Matter mural in an interview on the Dale Jackson show, saying, quote, we don't have the mechanism in there to do it, and we really don't want to put the mechanism in there to do it because it just opens up a panacea of what we're going to see on our streets all the time. The mayor's office could not be reached for comment. You can find the link to the Dale Jackson interview on rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.